guys um as you can tell i'm in a very comfortable mood today we have a cardigan um and just a t-shirt and a blanket because it's not a cute outfit but no need for that because today i'm going to be talking about my film journal and i feel like i've been posting my film journal literally everywhere like i won't shut up about it just because i actually really like doing it so much and today i'm going to show you the supplies that i use and also just like the process of what i do i'm going to be filming like a time lapse of the next spread that i'm doing which is for the movie 500 days of summer but i just have been film journaling more and i'm going to probably do as many spreads as possible before winter break ends because this is like my only free time to actually journal i forgot to mention but i'm going to split this video up into three parts supplies process and time lapse first thing first things first i'll show you the journal that i have um, I just have two sticky notes on it with things that I want to do for the journal. I got this on Amazon. Eight and a half by five inch, I think. So I found the exact pack that I got and I'll just make a list of all my supplies with links in the description box. I would recommend getting um, a journal that's bulleted. I personally like that more than lines. I just think it's easier to work with. For me, I like a spiral binding for this particular purpose just because it's easier to lay flat for my bullet journal i use my bullet journal more for productivity now rather than like aesthetics you could say but this is my bullet journal it does not have a spiral binding um it's like i only do a few aesthetic pages i did this page for my january cover and um that's like one of the only aesthetic pages i do usually my spreads look like this just simple to-do list for each day because again i'm using it for productivity and not really as much of a creative outlet i would suggest making a cover page just because it's personal and you can switch it up however you like i love the look of magazine letters clippings so i did that just need some scissors this one literally has tape on it um a glue stick um, this is double-sided tape this is optional because i feel like these are interchangeable but if you're doing like a bigger piece of paper this is probably a lot easier I also like to layer different colors on my spreads and it, the, only, the most simple answer for that would just be to use construction paper. I know this looks like chaotic. I also use like paper bags. This is like a paper bag for wine or something. My mom let me have it um, to get that cool like brown brown paper. I don't, I don't know what it would be called, but that cool look. And something that I use way more when I'm doing a film journal spread than when I'm doing a bullet journal spread is washi tape. Like, I will insert a picture of all the washi tape that I got for Christmas because before that I had like three or four rolls that I went with that I, you know, didn't really like. But now I have a lot and I am so excited to use them and I would recommend that if you do um, film journaling, it's great to just add more detail and make it look more put together. The other two things that I use are just a fine liner. You can, you don't even have to use, you can use a regular black pen, a pen, literally a pen, a black pen, whatever, you can use that. And also a white gel pen. I like these a lot because you can draw on the pictures and like accent them. It's the Uniball Signo white gel pen. It's very useful. I use it in almost every single spread that I do. First one that I did was Ladybird. I go on Pinterest a lot and there's a lot of great ideas on there. So I just searched like Ladybird. I saved everything to like a film journal inspired board. And um, if I saw a film journal that I liked, I would just take little elements from it because some people are very creative. So like this Danny Kyle thing, I saw that on someone's, if I can find the original picture of her journal spread, I will put it here because it was such a good idea. But yeah, I have a board full of just like film journal ideas. I will literally link it down below for any of you guys if you want to use it. That I can kind of go through, look for some inspiration, look for some ideas. But then I just look up the movie on Pinterest. I find the pictures that I like the most. And you can go to other websites like Film Grab because Film Grab has some really good stills from movies. They don't have a lot of like, they have a lot of movies, but they might not have a specific movie you're looking for. They do have a lot of good stills. So I would recommend using that as well. And I saw someone else do this, but I used to use a Google Doc and put the pictures and like write a little, you know, section and stuff like that. But it was a little bit of a hassle to use the formatting on Google Docs and like make the pictures as 
like compressed as possible to waste less paper when I'm printing it. Um, another person did this. I love the idea. And you can make a Google Slides. And in the Google Slides, all you have to do is reformat the slide to be the dimensions of a piece of paper. So eight and a half by 11 standard piece of paper. And that way, when you format the pictures, it's so much easier to just make them all fit and waste less paper and everything is in one spot. So you don't have like a bunch of extra files. Then when you print it out, you just select that specific page that you want. And I thought it was a really good idea. So I started doing that and it's saved me a lot of time. You know, formatting things is way easier. Now. So after I format it, I write out a little paragraph of my thoughts on the movie, maybe what the movie taught me, maybe things that I noticed in the movie that I love, just things like that. And I type that out. And I also pick a few quotes that are very special to me from the movie or just that I like and I'll put them there as well. Once I have everything organized, I usually just print it out and cut everything out and start playing with different colors and different patterns. Now I will show you how I film my time lapses because maybe that's something you want to do too. So I originally saw something like this when I watched one of Alicia Marie's Vlogmas vlogs, I know, very strange, but she had this like, this like tripod that you clip onto your desk and then you can use to film yourself doing stuff. And I remembered that I had one of those. It's this thing right here. It's very odd looking and unconventional in my opinion. And my family has this like thing that's supposed to clip onto your bed frame, like right there. And then you can watch something when it, ho when it holds your phone without having to hold it. So I was like, I'm just gonna use that. So if I just go up here, you can see, this is where you put your phone. And I essentially like put it on selfie mode and then I like do that. My room is so messy, sorry, but I do that. And then you can see um, the time lapses. So I have a few paper towels here, I, just to like lessen the damage, I don't know. But I have a bunch of stack of books there. Ignore this mess. It, it screws and tightens with this thing right here. So you can tighten it loosen it whatever um and i you can bend it to whatever shape you want so i have bent it to look like that so that it's right above my desk where i'm film journaling and yes i'm gonna eat those later thank you live and i got my kombucha right there my desk is super messy but yeah that's how i film my time lapses so i do have a candle going but if you do this please be careful and don't light anything on fire Honestly, I'm kind of surprised I haven't done that yet, but I'm just cutting everything out, all the pictures that I printed for this spread, and I'm using that mat to just make sure all the lines are straight with that. Once I have everything cut out, I'm taking that paper bag and just ripping some pieces out and testing to see where I like them on the page and just being creative with it. For the bigger paper pieces, I'm applying that double-sided tape just because it's easier and then for when I cut out any pictures I use the glue because I just find it more efficient but yeah I reorganize everything like 80 times because I'm indecisive but once I find something I like I just stick with that and glue things down piece by piece I also like to layer things as much as possible just because I like the way it looks um, so I've layered pictures, text, quotes just because I like the look of it. I like the aesthetic of it, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. I'm also adding a ton of washi tape just because, again, I like the look of it and I feel like it makes it look more put together and cohesive with the color scheme. After I Google it, I put the director the genre of the movie, the year it came out, the running time, um, several actresses or actors that starred in the movie, and then I give it a rating. And this is the final spread. Um, I post most of my spreads on my Instagram, so you should go check that out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just kind of like a fun little, not a tutorial, but I've been loving this little new hobby. So I thought I would share in case any of you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.
it's always super awkward when I'm snapping someone back on Snapchat or something and this is like in it. Or like I'm just like, hey, like, I don't know, but it's kind of fun too.